<laughs> Good morning and welcome to day, this is gonna be day nine. I will recap you on day seven and eight or what would have been day seven and eight when I had my mini medical emergency. But first a sip of coffee. I got back from Clearwater, Florida several days ago and the trip was great up until the very end. The end of the trip went awry for a number of reasons, my little medical emergency being one of them. So I was on the flight coming back from Tampa to Dallas and during the flight, I just started to inexplicably itch everywhere. But the back of my head was itching the most and I was scratching really hard and suddenly I started to bleed. So I had to run to the lavatory, get a couple of paper towels, wet them and just kind of leave it in the back of my head. Then I was fine the rest of the trip and I was okay until I got home. When I went to take a shower, I noticed that there were rashes everywhere and there were some that also started to form on my face. I don't know if you can see it around my mouth and on my chin, uh, but it's still there. And yesterday was agony. I mean, I was itching everywhere. I did everything I possibly could to alleviate that. Nothing was working. I took an Allegra and some Advil and it was just getting really bad. So I had to run to patient first in Manassas and my body looked like it was splashed in red paint. I'm feeling a lot better now. I'm just a little bit tired, that's all. But it didn't require a doctor's note or anything. I mean, it, I didn't have to take off work, but luckily today I'm ready reserved. So they may use me, they may not. I'm pretty low on the list. So I'm just gonna keep my fingers crossed that it stays that way, at least for today. All right, the day is beautiful. So I'm gonna go out and go for a run. What a gorgeous day. I have not run since my allergic reaction. Actually, that's technically since Clearwater. It'll be good to run again, but it's a very cool day. And as you can see behind me, nary a cloud in the sky. Okay, let's enjoy the day. was amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and make lunch now and then the rest of the afternoon I am probably gonna run a couple of errands, have to get some more lettuce for my little fur baby down there. There she is. There's my baby. Hi honey. Hey. Hi. I know. Hi baby. Uh, I hate this. Oh I totally forgot I have to add my Florida sticker. There it is. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I was called for a fake two day and things are already a little bit crazy. I'm supposed to do Dulles to Orlando, Orlando to Chicago, Chicago back to Dulles. And the flight is delayed by almost three hours and we have like 20 to 40 minutes to connect to our other flights at each airport. We'll see about that one. Gate. I'm not sure what the delay was all about. I have an idea. It's just a bit of a waiting game. I am at the airport very, very early, almost an hour early. Yeah, and a lot has been going on in my life lately. Luckily though, this week has been actually pretty slow. I was on ready reserve for about two days, well, two and a half now, but the weather here is going to be really bad. So it's gonna be interesting to see how that affects operations tomorrow. <music> Well, I was supposed to go to Chicago and now I'm stuck in Orlando. And what's worse is that they had already assigned a trip to me tomorrow for Scotland. I was supposed to go back to Scotland tomorrow, but now due to a flight having to return to Orlando, they had to reassign me to that one going to Newark tonight and I lost my Scotland trip. I am bummed. <laughs> oh, this always happens to me in Orlando. Hey guys, made it to Newark. I was in the purser position and tonight's flight wasn't too bad. Actually, it was not a very full flight and pretty easy to work, but I am extremely bummed that I am not going back to Scotland tomorrow night because it was gonna be my first time as an international purser. And I was just so upset when I saw 
that my pairing changed at the last second and I was working this flight up to Newark. So they're gonna have me deadheading tomorrow and I don't have anything on my schedule. I'm still good for another three days. They can't really put me on anything tomorrow because I'll be back home around noon and so I need 12 hours rest. a trip in which I will be laying over in Minneapolis tonight. And if all goes as planned, I am going to cross off a bucket list item today and that is shopping at the Mall of America. Made it to the airport with about 55 minutes to spare, but I did park in the garage because so I'm looking both ways. When I'm running just a little bit late, the economy lot is far. So I'm always afraid if I go to the economy lot, I'm gonna end up being late because the shuttles are a little bit slow. So I'm just going to hide for a little while. sit in Chicago right now. Minneapolis is our next stop and our final leg of the day, thank God. This trip's going by pretty quickly, which is good. I'm tired, but I'm just going to truck along tonight because I'm excited to see the Mall of America and I'm very likely gonna go downtown. guys, what's up? Finally made it to the hotel room. Okay, all going to the Mall of America right now with the crew going downstairs to meet them. And once I get there, I will vlog it. Seriously, every city should have this. Should. Every well city. All right, now we have to go from a train to a bus, just like the DC Metro. We are in the Mall of America and I am so excited. I'm with my lovely crew here. Hi, Jack. This mall is metropolis, you guys. This is Earth Radio. And now here's human music. rides are six points each and I got 18 points so that means I can do three. I hope my math is correct. Six times three, 18. Okay, yeah. We're riding that roller coaster. I'm so nervous, you guys. It does. Okay, I can't take my phone so I'll let you know how it goes afterwards. Oh my god, that was fun, but oh my god, 
made it. He yes. made it. Yes. What do you think, Jack? I loved it. That was awesome. That was a yeah. tay. Woo. Are we going to really do it again? Let's do a different one. Yeah, let's do another one. Okay, we're gonna go to the swinging back and forth ride, whatever, whatever the hell it's called. Avatar Airbender, that's what it's called. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> okay, we're next. That was a crazy ride, you guys. Oh, that was it for you, Jack. Okay, I'm headed downtown now. I'm gonna be meeting an old friend. I'm in downtown Minneapolis and I just have to look for my friend and then we're gonna to head to dinner. save my voice because my voice is feeling a little bit off. Yeah, but we have three lakes total today, so we're gonna go to Houston, then to Dallas, and back home. And then I'm off for several days, yay! I'm at my Houston sit right now. Last flight was a little bit crazy. I mean, not anything crazy happening on our flight specifically, but we ended up being a little bit delayed taking off. And the reason for the delay was because the Delta flight in front of us ended up striking a bird. That made me incredibly apprehensive because I, that is like one of my nightmares is to be taking off and we strike a bird. And I probably just should not say it out loud throwing it out there in the universe for it to manifest or anything like that. I mean, I'm not superstitious and I don't really believe in jinxes, but and when something like that happens so close to your flight taking off, it just makes it a very strong probability. It is raining when I have to walk outside to my car. Driving home, I am tired. This was a grueling two-day trip, but kind of fun. Do you hear how loud my windshield wipers are? All right, all, I'm just gonna head home now. Hoping to get some good sleep tonight. It is 1020 and I'm ready for bed. All right, everybody, take it easy, take care, and you all have a good night. All right, see you next time. Oh,